This unit here is a so-called balcony door. A balcony door is the most economical of doors and is very practical, especially for bedrooms. In a way, it's nothing else than a big tilt and turn window with a low profile aluminum threshold. The threshold itself uh, is thermally broken by having a, a fiberglass PU piece in the middle. So it has pretty good performance. It still has two air seals in it, so it's fairly airtight. Um, and the door remains the tilting function, which is great for ventilation. One thing to remember if you order any balcony doors is that the balcony door will only operate from the inside. It just has a tilt and turn handle just like a window. So you can lock it from the inside, you can tilt it from the inside, but you cannot control it from the outside. On the other hand, if you order a terrace or entrance door from us, that will work like you expect from a regular door with a normal door handle on the inside, outside, and a keyed lock. Now, note one important thing about installing these doors. This door is now lying on its side, so you see the, the bottom aluminum sill here, this is the inside, and you see there's very little clearance between the bottom of the unit and the door, and it still has to tilt. So it's important to note that the bottom of the unit has to be installed flush with finished floor level. If you do install carpet on the inside, you may have to, to raise it a little more to make sure it does not interfere with the carpet. This applies to all our doors, whether balcony, entrance doors, or terrace doors. The bottom of the unit has to be flush with finished floor. Since you install this unit flush with finished floor, you'll have to think of a strategy to create the interior air seal. We recommend either using a sealing bead or using a compression tape like Ilbrook's compression tape uh, installed in the recess of this aluminum threshold that then expands and creates the seal. The exception to doors that get installed flush with finished floor are only lift slide doors as well as main entrance doors that are installed compatible to be compatible with ADA requirements. Lift slide doors have to be sunken into the floor by 50 millimeters or just under two inches and ADA doors have to be sunken below the finished floor by about a quarter inch. For all door sills, it is important to create a continuous and straight support underneath so that it does not flex as people are walking over it. Especially on lift slide doors, this has to be done with great care because otherwise the door will not slide properly. When installing doors, think about thermal bridging. Um, especially when you're setting these on a concrete slab, there's the, the chance of a serious thermal bridge um, if you just set it on the slab. Most high-performance homes opt to set doors on geofoam um, to, to, to break this thermal bridge.